Alright guys, so right now we are, Ryan and I are prepping the bus for paint. So we're going to show you the process for that and um, some of like the tips and tricks that we're being told by uh, the guy whose shop we're in right now um, on how to do this correctly so that the paint lasts for 10 years. Um, we are using these pneumatic uh, air compressed tools. So you can see the gloss in this one still, um, based off the reflections here. And then when it's done, it will look more like this, where there's no reflections and it's very dull. So Ryan and Ben just got the back door done while I was up front uh, sanding the rest of the paint off, uh, and it looks really good. The, the reason why we had to redo the back door is because the lower portion of it was uh, rusted out. So what Ben did was he used a combination of cutoff wheel, which is this, um, air powered, uh, to cut the bottom of the door off. And then he took a grinder, like such, uh, and, you know, <laughs> ground the rest of the rust off that he wasn't able to cut. Um, and then after that, it was a combination of riveting in new panels and welding in new panels. Uh, the welds are on the inside here. You can't see them because he putted over them and the rivets will hold the metal in place and now we pretty much have a brand new door on these, well the only two hinges on the door, they were so rusted out that the door was sagging on the hinges and the door never actually shut correctly. He, what he did was he took each one of these bolts out, removed the hinge, uh, you know, sanded it all down, welded a new one in and then bolted these back through that panel with nuts on the back of the panel that were welded on so that it would thread. See how nice and sharp it is. And then he did the same thing with this hinge down here. And now, Ryan, would you mind showing how it closes? Now you can just close it and lock it in. Previously, you had to really push it and shove it so that it would pop back up on the hinge and into place. The bus is getting really close and it looks, you know, a lot different than it did when we first brought it in. A lot more sanded down, a lot more exposed metal. Uh, but it's a really long process and we're almost done with it, which is exciting. Well, what we're doing here now, there was a, a bad rust uh, problem here. We fat this piece of metal to repair this hole in the side of the coach here. And we're gonna show you the proper way to apply this metal so it will last on this uh, school bus slash motor hole. The, uh, the proper way to redo this would be to take this whole panel out and this panel out and replace, replace these two panels. But that pertains to taking this rub rail off and there's a lot of labor to do that plus expenses. When we work on regular school buses, they don't really care what the appearance is as long as the rust is taken care of. So what we're doing, we're putting about a two foot by 14 inch new steel plate over here to hide that rust. We'll primer the back side of this panel. So the first thing you want to do is primer this bare metal on the back side. That seals any moisture that we could have coming out of this hole back in behind this metal. That'll keep the water from attacking that bare metal. We'll take auto body seam sealer and seam it. Seam seal that, that'll keep any moisture that gets in the hole to the rest of the panel. And then we'll stick the metal on the top of it and then we'll paint the outside of it as we paint the coach. That's cool. That's the quick fix on it and the way that cheap wise that's the way to go. Yeah. So. You notice the seam seal losing out the side of the metal. And what we're 
we're going to do now is take our finger where this oozed out, wipe it off and make sure we seal that complete area. And the top is just as important. So we're going to seam seal the top. Now we're going to take some of this seam seal, fill the rivet holes, keep the moisture from getting in those also. We're going to take some reducer, soak this rag, we're going to wipe this seam seal the excess away so your paint job will look a lot nicer. Then you just take your rag and wipe over the surface and you have a sealed panel now. You can see the excess once we get the back undercoated. Well, that should make this coat stand up to any weather conditions. With this little time and effort that you're putting into this will make your job last longer. And if you don't get everything sealed, your rust can run from behind these rails over your freshly painted area and cause your paint job to have rust stains. Before we paint this coach, we will go and seam seal the top and the bottom of these rub rails to keep that from happening. The steel is not etched. So we're gonna take some 220 grit sandpaper and DA and scotch write this panel. All new metals have oil built into it to preserve it from rusting. We're gonna knock that coat of oil off so we get good adhesion with the primer and the paint. You have a shiny spot, take, there's a possibility your primer will not etch. Go and apply an etching primer. Here's your new <laughs> panel installed on the side of the coach. You just putty this with Bondo or Duraglass or all metal products. The moisture is still going to get from the back side into the putty and it's going to cause the putty to bubble. And that'll take place within weeks. If you put this piece of steel in, it'd take 10 years to rot that new steel out. Alright guys, after 10 days of sanding and patching and more sanding and more patching and scraping and priming, all that kind of stuff, the bus is finally ready to be painted. Um, and right now we're painting the roof, we're going to paint the body tomorrow and then we're going to paint all of the accents black on Monday. So it's a three day process because we don't have full days to work on the bus, but this is what we're doing right now and I'm going to show you uh, how it's going to get painted.
Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you liked this video and if it was helpful to you, give us a like. And uh, if you have any suggestions for us or criticism or just want to say anything to us, comment down below as we love reading those. Uh, and also, if you want to stay the most up to date on our build in general, follow us on Instagram because we're about one to two weeks ahead since it takes so long to make YouTube videos. So, thanks again for watching and we'll see you around soon.